So I got something in the mail here. There are several things that this could be. Pretty sure I know what it is. If I'm right, it's some tools I was waiting on. Sort of, I don't know, taped or something to the inside of the bag. I guess that keeps it from shifting around. It's got some sort of uh, adhesive on it. Yes, I've been missing having one of these for a while. And you can pick these up on eBay for about 10 to 15 dollars with free shipping and what this is is it's a rivet and snap setting kit so this has a couple of hole punches it has a couple of setters for the rivets it's these ones that are convex um, these two things are anvil this size is for any snap or rivet likely rivet that's larger than that right there and they're not too many that are larger than that they're usually from about there to i'd say about there somewhere in the range of like 8 to 20 millimeter or uh, 8 to 18 millimeter and then on the other side it's got a uh it's it's a two-sided anvil and of course, if I need to, I can flip this over and use the flat. So here's a piece of scrap leather going to join two sides of it with a single rivet. I'm going to start here by skiving a line. And that removes some material from the inside so that it folds easier, so that it creases nicer where I want it to. See how easy that is versus how stiff that is. And if I didn't skive that line and I forced this, and let's say I just I just hammered it flat. What can then end up happening is you can get cracks. I'm going to come in about an eighth of an inch from the edges. Now I'm not going all the way through. You see here, I'm stopping where it starts to bulge out. Because if I go too far through, I'll stretch the hole out too much. And the rivet won't sit snugly in there. And you can see the mark that's been made for where I want to make my next hole. Now the kind of rivet I have here has two parts to it. There is a little bit of a pinch there which flares the metal out. And the reason that's there is so that the cap can go on the stem and click on. That doesn't hold it in place. You still have to hammer it together. So I'll go ahead and I'll put the stem through my two holes here. And I'll fit the cap on. And then I'll set it into the dish on the anvil. In this case, the second one, the one that has no play. Now, if I were to use some of these convex pieces or like this one or that one what would happen is that this would um, the stem would pierce through the cap you have to hit it with your mallet I suppose if you had a second anvil to go on top, that might make less of a chance of messing up. 
But as it stands, you have to kind of take a little bit of a risk that one side won't look as good as the other. So you want one swift tap. Now that should be enough to force the top of the stem to flare out and to force the top of the cap to flare out. Now if I want to use a rivet like a stud, and a stud is, is just a rivet wherein it's not joining anything together, it's decorative, and I would just use the cap, I would set it in the anvil, choose a flare, I believe this one should do it. One good swift tap and it's flared out in the hole. Now as you should be able to tell, that's underneath the bottom grain and that's actually good because you won't feel it like if it's against your skin. But you can see it's in there firmly because it did flare out and go in between the layers of the leather. So I'll take a little pleo bond and I'll put it in that hole and I'll use a plug that I removed to create the hole to fill the hole back in. And I tend to save powder from skiving so that I can do this. Wipe the fresh fibers on there. So we have a nice stud, nearly invisible backing on it. Once that dries, that, that won't be going anywhere. This is similar to what carpenters will do to hide an ugly hole. And once that dries, it, it'll become less visible. So I really like this tool set. I kind of took a little bit of a risk because I have not purchased from this seller before. And I went ahead and I purchased this tool set. And then I purchased just a whole bunch of snaps. And so those will be coming on their way. I mean, I might I might show you one, but they're just different different colors and a few different sizes of pretty much the same. And what I'll probably do now is I'll put some more holes in here. I left I left room to sort of grow what I could hold in here, so we'll probably put some more holes in here and make places for all of these as well on this little rack. Um, I don't think I really need to make a video about that. I mean, it's pretty much, I'm just going to drill a couple of holes and stick them in. <laughs> so I will be leaving this seller positive feedback and looking forward to when the snaps arrive. All right. Have a good one.